So next, I'm going to show you how to use FET. Uh, this is the physics simulation software that we used last semester for a couple of different labs. Uh, you're going to open up the FET simulation, go to your Google search and do FET physics, or I'm just going to go ahead and do uh, FET physics charges and fields. It'll take me directly there. There we go. I, I'm just going to play it in my browser. You might need to load something. Let me know if you have issues downloading it or running it. And now let's look at the instructions again. Uh, make sure that the box next to electric field is checked. It is. It's checked right there. And uh, that's going to show you the, the fields. And then you can drag and drop positive and negative charges to create a configuration of charges. Let me show you what that means. So I can take a positive charge from here and I can move it right there. And now these lines show the electric field. As we show, as we did before, we know that the electric field emanates outward from a positive charge. Let's get rid of that. I can put a negative charge. And you see how the lines are all going towards the negative charge. Uh, if I add an extra negative charge there, watch how the lines change. It makes them brighter. Here in this, the brightness of the arrows denotes the strength of the electric field. So I can add another charge and that makes it even stronger. If I ever want to reset, I can just reset. So I can hear your first configuration is going to be two charges, and I can see how the electric field will run from one charge to the other. Uh, you have several different, four configurations of charges, which you can add. Uh, this, this one that I show you here is the very first one. You'll also want to add electric potential lines, or excuse me, equal potential lines. To do that, you grab the little thing from over here. This shows you where is the potential. And notice that as I move it around, the potential changes. And if I want to draw an equal potential line, I just draw it like that. That means that all along this line, the potential is 12.06 or whatever volts it was. And I want you to draw, uh, I think, six equal potential lines for each of these configurations. Just move it around and you can get a good map of what the equal potential line looks like. Try to keep it symmetrical like that. So now that is my electric field map and my equal potential map for that very first and simplest configuration of charges. Notice if I move my charges around, uh, those equal potential lines go away. You take a screenshot. The way that you do that is uh, you just do print screen. Where's my print screen? Anyway, you, you type, you uh, hit your print screen button, and then you can uh, paste that into a Word document with Control V or just do right click paste. Pause there. Next, we'll do the electric field hockey. Actually, I'll just go ahead and do electric field hockey here. So, electric field hockey, I'm just going to FET, Google FET. Uh, electric field hockey, which is a little game that you'll play. There are several configurations that you'll need to run where you're basically trying to get a charge into the goal. It's like hockey. Uh, so here I have a positive charge and I want to get it into this goal. Now there are a variety of ways I can do it. Like I can take this charge right here and if I start, it will make it go in. Excuse me, it will make it go into the goal. So um, you can clear everything and reset. What I want you to do is to also have your trace. This will show the electric field. So I'm going to put this back here like this. Or excuse me, not just the trace. We do want to do trace. I'll show you what that is in just a second, but then also the field. What you're doing with this charge is you're creating electric an electric field. And the, uh, the puck, which is a positively charged charge, it will tend to follow along the electric field line. So you want, the, you want it to be able to follow these electric field lines so that it comes back to the, to the goal. Here, obviously, not going to go to the goal. See the dotted line there? That's the trace. I want you to have that as well. So if I want this thing to go into the, electric, into the goal, I have to have the electric field lines pointing towards the goal. Notice I can make the electric field stronger just as I did before by adding this. Okay, uh, I'm going to start it, and it goes straight. It goes straight into the goal. Now you have particular simulations that you want to run. So in uh, here, you're going to. It tells you how to set them up. 
Um, you have these different configurations. So for example, here I want you to use one negative charge on the rank in order to make this positive charge go into the goal. Likewise, I want you to do one positive charge. I already did that for you. You know the positive charge has to go back here. Then there are more complicated. Those are easy. These are more complicated where you have a charge here. Or I put a charge right here and then I have to put another charge that just one other single charge so that when I press start, the puck will go into the goal. So these are a bit trickier. Uh, you may only use one charge. You may not use as many charges as you like. You can only use one charge. Uh, here, one positive charge, one negative charge. When you do each of these, I want you to do a screenshot and then, um, and then put that screenshot into your lab report. Now, you can change the level of the difficulty. Those are all really simple, but you can change the level of the difficulty. We'll change it to one, and then you get um, these barriers that you have to go around. Try to do this in as few charges as possible so that when you press start, it will go into the goal. Let me show you the difficulty of this is that if it runs into the barrier, it stops. So you have to manipulate this charge so that it comes around the barrier and goes into the goal. This is really what scientists do. We'll talk about this in the class, but you can create a circuit or a set of charges to make other charges do things that you want to do, to oscillate at a particular frequency or to, to move in a different direction. You can do that with a set of charges by changing the potential. Now, uh, there are directions here for how to upload it to Google Drive. That'll be all in a separate link.